fast forward 113 years. Oh, really? We get to uh, Laplace. He studied this problem. Right. Okay? And he developed, I don't think he invented, but he developed a new branch of calculus Ooh. called perturbation theory. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay? Unknown to Newton, even though Newton invented calculus. Right. He invented calculus. Right. All right? So he could have done it. He could have said, in order to solve this problem, let me invent I need a, more a, calculus. Off, more calculus. I just need more calculus. I just need more calculus. He didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Didn't do it. So <laughs> Laplace develops perturbation theory, and it comes down to we have two bodies, the sun and the earth in this case, and the third one, the tug is small, but it's repeating. Mm -hmm. It's not a big tug. Jupiter's not sitting right here. Right. It's, it's way, way out, out there. Way out there. It's just a little tug. And so you can run the equations in such a way and realize that a two-body system that is tugged often by something small that it all cancels out in the end. Gotcha. Okay? So when it's out here, the tug is a little bit right. that way, but now it's over here, and the, the tug is less. Right. All right? And then sometimes it's tugging you in this direction when that's the configuration. You add it all up, it all cancels out. And it just but cancels. Newton could not have known that. Right. Without this new branch of calculus. Okay. Okay. Perturbation theory. So that took care of that third body. Gotcha. Where solar system is basically stable. Okay. For the foreseeable future in ways that Newton had not imagined, in ways that Newton required God.